Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to perfectly 3D track multiple texts in your videos easily in After Effects. I'll also explain what not to do so you don't ruin the tracking and can achieve the smoothest and most accurate results. Let's get started. First of all, let's hit track camera and wait for the analysis to complete. Once it's done, I'll select a few tracking points in the video right where I want my first text to appear. Now right click on the selected points and choose create text and camera. Now grab the text tool, click on the text, and type anything you want. Next I'll scale it down a bit since it's too large. After that let's adjust the rotation and position to make it fit naturally into the scene. Now an important tip to avoid ruining your 3D tracking. Never drag your text layer around directly in the composition, because it messes with the Z position and causes the tracking to go off. If you want to reposition your text, simply use the on-screen handles and drag the text how you want. You can also press P on your keyboard and adjust the position values from there. And remember, never change the Z position, otherwise it will completely break your perfect 3D track. As you can see, in my case the text is perfectly tracked, that's because I didn't change the Z position. Now select the text tool, highlight your text, and make any adjustments you want. From the text settings, you can change the font, the size of your text, but you can also adjust the scale property of the text, the color of your text, and more. I'll leave everything as default for now. Next let me show you how to turn your regular text into 3D with just a few clicks, and no plugins required. Make sure to change the renderer option to advanced 3D. Now expand your text settings, then expand geometry options, and increase the extrusion depth. This will add thickness to your text, giving it a true 3D look. Let me rotate the text so you can see the result, this also makes it easier to adjust the thickness. Once you find the sweet spot, you can reset the rotation, and that's it, your 3D text is ready. I don't like the font, so let's select the text tool and highlight the text. First I'll stretch the text a little from text settings. Now I will change the font. I'll quickly adjust the stretch, and I think this font will look much better. Everything looks good, I'm happy with it. Now let's add another text. Start by selecting your original clip, then select the 3D camera tracker effect so we can see the tracking points in the video. Next select the points where you want your second text to appear. Right click and choose create text. Now do the same as before, type anything you want, adjust the size, and fine tune the rotation and position to place it exactly where you want. Just remember, don't touch the Z position, and that's it. To make this second text 3D as well, expand geometry options under the layer and increase the extrusion depth. Let's check if both texts are perfectly tracked, and that's it. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.